In havoc there is intrusion, and there there is found the generality that will build the beginning principles of your discipline. In how you are breaking, you will begin to learn as a human being from your breaking sense. You will begin to realize just like how you can. Be senseful. You can also be senseless. You're becoming aware of your experience in regards to new terms with your manifestation beyond the subjective bounds of how man was chained to thinking that thought originated based on only a biological phenomena. We are here grounded in、uh, many dimensions, just like if we were to take. A flat plain, and wonder how deep the roots go in the soil. From the beginning of the soil to the depths of the earth, the roots would reach as far as they could. We see at times we're taken by turmoil and wondering whether the fight is ours or not. But you see, because you're a multi-dimensional being, you are. Being given the ability to transcend your experience of the fight, your rebellion is one where your insight is your savior. Your insight is your guide. Your insight is your general. Your insight will give you commands of trusting reality to then seeing that that experience will open up. You will begin to see intuitive communication happen. People will tell you things from before, and suddenly you will see their meaning now. We are not strangers to the worlds that we create. We are simply the freedom that cannot wait. And. If we were to look at the beauty and the elegance of shamanic practice, it would be as if, through just an innately, absolute knowing of the fractal nature of this reality, the shaman, by throwing a bunch of stones or feeling the wind or looking at life in a certain way, understood meanings beyond the contemplation that man had something to see. There are many sanctions into how individual consciousness moves into collectivity, but it must begin with a factor within the individual conscious uh, being's uh, reality that is real with it. So, what part of your reality can you trust? For many, it's the spaces of love. For many, it's the spaces of devotion. For some, it is just the elegance of a light beam. You need to begin to see how this reality is the projection of your intention to see it beyond itself. You see, this life is filled. You are, in a sense, on some level, simultaneously a projector of what it is that you, as an individual phenomena of consideration, want. But at the same time, you're moving beyond the restrictions of the chains that you thought. <coughs> Had to be there for us to be certain of a firm world.、Uh, take this into consideration. Atlas learned a good lesson. Atlas would walk up that hill, and even though he had liver problems and his liver would be taken out, he would see that he would feel the weight of the world. And as he would feel the weight of the world, he would come to understand that. The will of manifestation is to be in the design of its creation, and so you must find the will that is aware of manifestation. And this sense of willingness shifts from a sense of free will into a sense of divine will, where your actuality is, is in how much you're trusting life and following your most directest experience. How much are you sincerely communicating? For once, the quality and the efficiency and the honesty of your communication and your observance of self increases. The self-talk、uh, reduces. You begin to learn from the silent, and so you see, you had always heard Buddha's silent sermon. Your activation was in how manifestation came into view, and how you chose to say the first words as your last. There is a pleasantness in the bliss that is found when the conscious experiencer 
uh, sees that it is always expanding into its unconscious based on the nature of movement. This design is not a limitation that is uh, entrapping us in a void of confu in a void of emptiness. It's, it's, it's in a sense the understanding that reality has many senses of intelligence and you might want believe uh, in a sense Man, it might it may be a very new idea to man, but sometimes your abilities are irrelevant to you. They're simply considerations of the attention within your projection. As if this divine attention, which was the divinity of man and the sacredness of the being, was the recognition that all isolation was the beginning of collective understanding. You are not separate here. I am a human being. I am using language. You are a human being. You're receiving through language. Be observant of this language and let us see what we can create. Let us find that language existentially always spoken. Let us see how humanity can evolve as a species and how it can touch the stars by its presence, not by its personalities who are trying to change the world uh, from just one angle of it. Because it is, it is more of how we can all together consciously take a step rather than to... Uh, be lost in our worlds of thinking that life has to be in a certain way. <clears throat> your certainty does not belong to you. It is usually the voice of your environment, your condition, your frame, how you have come to refer. And as you move past that, an innate inference of loyalty will come to your personality that you see, oh my gosh. I thought I didn't like who I was, but who I am is such a unique projection, such a unique combination of just random design. What that means is that tree grew like that, oh my god, my face grew like this. <laughs> And so it's simply the understanding that we are natural beings, we are natural phenomena, and natural phenomena has the beauty of being untouchably there. So the directest experience of the illusion was now, so shift your gaze in knowing states of consciousness are simply how you knew before you could know. The ease that you seek is the navigation from individual steps in a certain space-time continuum to an observance of space-time that is making all individual steps open up with you a collective vision. What that means is an integrative mind based on its trust keeps its pillars of intelligence. If you trust reality, if you trust manifestation, your, your, your projection within the moment of how reality is can immediately shift and accumulate, accumulate in a certain manner. This suggestion is that the the profoundity of what is the initiation of a being that breathes is to recognize your tutelage is your discovery of what is keeping you here. And what is keeping you here is usually a greater communication of the experience of this world you're having. This communication will go to a peak where ideology will ask you many things, it will visit you, it will even become you, and you will wonder who you are, but then you will begin to see the hollowness in how man has how abstraction uh, uh, based on reference was insane. How insanity was a part of the system not accepting a part of the system. And perhaps that was insane. How we chain beings and trap their minds. We must increase the health of vision in this world. What that means is what the human species need is vision. And how do you find vision? By coming to your present moment and seeing what you are, communicating your experiences, building a fountain of talks, and to see that your youth was captured in every moment that you carried it. For your age is just a symptom of your maturity. You are becoming an, a being sophisticated in seeing that the temporal is temporal, but infinity had its own walk. For man never tripped. When the blessing of the moment was all life. Much blessings and namaste.